Yep, yeah, but let us know when we hit Bob Station. It's Hot 1079. Get Dirty J. Nick's Fly's Gallery Radio. DJ Cash, the fly Haitian kid. I'm in the building. Where's the average checking in one time for the one time? And you know we always interview the famous cats. Cats is doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Being in the game and working hard, doing all that good stuff. Man, Q is in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Love Dog. You. Man, What's where the hell? On? Don't what do the that. hell? What's going <laughs> on? Do not do that. Talk to me, man. Hey, man, that's y'all. We just had, who was starter? Yeah. They sleep. What? What sleep? You can't do nothing about that when they sleep. Yeah, I mean, Cuban been dropping you music, Jay. about to ask me where the hell you been with yeah, that. Yeah, been, you been dropping music, Jay. I know, just... you, I, I know you been working, but what, what's been going on? Like, what's been going on? Like, what, what's, what's you and Sonny? Sonny, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still working together? Yeah, that's my boy. I love okay. him to death. He just don't, he don't want to make beats no more, bro. He rap, you know. He, he It's just going crazy for him, though. It's working for him, you know what I'm saying? Right. And he hard. Wait, so he about to quit producing altogether? I mean, he, he produces his own stuff. Nah, really? he don't even really do that. Damn. He don't even want to make these, period. Wow. Like, period. Like, we even bump heads a lot, bro, about that. Not even just about me, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, because y'all, y'all, y'all came in together. You know what I'm saying? That, that was, what was that relationship like in the beginning? Because I'm, I'm trying to just refresh everybody. Uh, me and Money, I mean, me and Money. Money, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> me, <laughs> me, Sonny. <laughs> me, me and Money. <laughs> me and Sonny go back. Fifth, sixth grade, way before the music. You know right. what I'm saying? Back when he first started making beats, really he was he was a rapper before anything. He just couldn't get no beats, so he started making beats. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I went off to play basketball in college, got kicked out, and I seen when I came back, that's right when Rex on Rex started going crazy. So I'm like, man, I ain't. Only thing that's different between me and you, you just really be in here locked in. You don't get distracted by nothing. You right. Know? So I started rapping, going asking for some beats one day. He was like, bro. You really can't rap like that. I don't really want to. My beats <laughs> so cost told, money. He told you you can rap? And my mama, he was like, bro, my beats cost money. I don't really want to. Be wasting them on you. Say my money. Say no more. Say no more. Literally about six months later, he was like, bro, let's do a project. But you didn't got cold like overnight. Then that's when you, young hitter, came, mm. young nigga came about. Mm-hmm. From there, you know, here now. But that's my boy, bro. I love him to death. My brother still, he rapping, going crazy, doing shows and everything, bro. He just do not with money or nothing, bro. I had, we was at the studio, we pulled up on us about 12 5. Slapped it on the table, like, bro, let me get a beat. He was like, bro, hey, I don't even want nobody. I just don't really want to beat, make beats. Wow. Damn. I'm like, <laughs> get down there and go steal it hard. Like, bro, meet me down the corner. <laughs> right. I got you. Take off I got you. So, what you been working on, man? Because we haven't, we, uh, when I was saying what you been doing, we haven't talked in a little minute. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Converse. I'm pretty sure you get money. That watch, that watch still there. You ain't pawning that motherfucker it, it, yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're getting some type of money now. You know, you know, now you know these know, you know, know, means because he made up a whole word, Converse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said, we ain't Converse. No, Converse, that's, that's, that's it. Converse? Converse? He said, Converse. The way I said, I'm, I'm oh. from St. Louis, man. <laughs> come, this, come on, man. Converse. I mean, you know, working. Dropping, um, I've got a project on the way, you know. I just dropped a single yesterday, Sugar Daddy, featuring okay. um, Rich Homie Corn. It's about, it looks like it would be me and him talking about us being a sugar daddy, but it's about, you know, women being their own sugar daddy. Right now, the thoughts is at an all-time high. They are. Mm-hmm. It's a certain female rapper that got thoughts confidence through the roof right now. He's talking about Cardi B? I got to be Cardi. <laughs> what you about? I ain't say that. No, I just saying it's Cardi. a female rapper. She got, them, she got their mind nobody. all the way in the roof. <laughs> do you ever get do you ever get discouraged? Cause it was one point. Never. Bro, but I, I remember, bro, we was we used to come to me like, bro, I got this like with the um what was the record? Um OG Bobby Johnson. Yeah. And I remember even everybody thought that was even your name for a second. For a minute. That <laughs> you know? That's sad to suck. It it was a gift and a curse, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was like, hey, I just my whatever guy got in store for me, it just taking a little longer, you know what I'm saying? I only been rapping for four years since that song came out. Hmm. You know wow. what I'm saying? So I'm not satisfied, but I ain't got nothing to complain about. I know you was working with like Tune Day at one point and stuff. Like yeah. Are you still working with? Nah, uh-uh. I still, okay. you know, still my boy. Though. You know, you know, but I don't, we don't work together though. Right. Nah, but uh, yeah, I ain't satisfied, bro. I just, I, ain't, I, I'm, nah, I ain't got nothing to complain about. Like nothing, bro. Right. Nothing. So, you know, tour. Me and Rich Homie going on tour June 14th, uh, from June 14th to August 18th. Um, so I got. I done went from like one kid to like five. Well, like, you got to put it in the pants, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to gotta tame yourself, brother. <laughs> Jesus. I got twins on the way right now. Identical what? boy. What? Yeah. Congratulations. Wait, wait. Bro. Do the twins make five or the twins add nah, it on five, to five? Five, five, five. Okay, man. Yeah, make five. My heart oh, just okay. dropped. Nah, again. that's fine. <laughs> I was about to help you pay for child support, but mine's nah. too high. <laughs> nah. Yeah, I got identical boy. They'll be here August 4th, which is my little girl birthday, August 4th. 
Well, congratulations. Right. All my kid birthday in August, bro. At least wow. that makes it easier for you, bro. <laughs> so easy. Right. Oh, mama, you just shoot up the club at the right time like, every time, huh? I don't know, bro. Just, <laughs> I'm getting one cake to say happy birthday, y'all, and that's it. <laughs> happy birthday, y'all. Everybody. <laughs> y'all. That's it. <laughs> on everything. That's so, it. so what you been working on as far as the music? Because, you know, sometimes, like, you get, when you, well, you ain't radio, you kind of get drifting in and what's programmed and what's playing because a lot of the labels and stuff are the ones that kind of, like, you know, do business with the radio stations and, right. and, 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 and you know, just push the music. So, but it's a crazy underground scene that's going on right now because we end, end up talking to like Reese the Flair and some of these other kids I heard are making millions of dollars just yeah. underground and never get played on the radio no more. Right, right, right. So, what you that's what you've been doing. You have to be because that watch looks new. That, yeah, that, and you know, just placements too, bro. I've been writing for a lot of folks though, even back from Bobby yeah. Johnson days though, bro. Oh, that's know. now we're getting to the business, huh? Yeah. You've been writing for Drake? <laughs> I, I wish. I ain't gonna flex. I would, though. I ain't gonna flex, but you know, for a lot of big. You know, big name folks, though, from like old mixtapes, too, bro. Like old right. mixtapes, bro. My, my, my mama. So, what made you decide to do that? Like, because it seemed like, well, uh, did you, did you have you even took any slack in, as far as nah, I've been doing that, though. Even when I first, you know, when Bobby Johnson first dropped, I ain't gonna never stop. You know what I'm saying? I do that in the midst of rapping, too. You know what I'm okay. saying? I wanna get all money, every money, you know what I'm saying? Every right. dollar, you know what I'm saying? I wanna cut myself short, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really too much care about, I mean, I care, I ain't gonna say that, but. But the goal is to get the money and take care of your family. Right. So if that's what's in store for me, I mean, that's fine with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I could be broke right. and homeless. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Do, do, labels, do labels, like, underestimate you? Do they, do they be, like, you know, try to compare everything that you're dropping now to OG Bobby Johnson or anybody that's, like, you know, investors? Do they try to downplay or, or, or maybe not know what's going on? Uh, No, not necessarily. I think everybody just more so confused, like, damn, bro, why you ain't took off yet? Why you ain't? Right. You know what I'm saying? Which is a question I can't even answer. You know what I'm saying? It's just timing, bro. I don't know. You right. know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing different for real. Do you feel anything's missing or anything needs to be added? Uh, yeah, a few minor things, just minor. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Just a few more, uh, just a few more people. That's all. A few more key people. A few more resources. Yep. That's it. But as far as you think, Sonny not doing beats and and doing projects with you no more had a big impact. No, because oh. my none of my hits really came from Sonny. <laughs> That's real. Think right. about it. Right. None no, of my think, hits came from Sonny. I think um I think when you say that it's true because um Walker Walker just I just talked to Walker the other day. He said he's putting out a project with uh, Lex, mm -hmm. and and you know he he tapped back in with Lex because of the simple fact that you know he just wanted to go back to that place. I think y'all could possibly still do a project in the future. No, I definitely think. That we could have had a YG mustard type situation. Uh, definitely, we could have. I feel like both been much further than where we both are. Not saying we need each other, right? But I feel like we weren't all the way great businessmen by, you know, making decisions of not, you know. And this ain't all on me either. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. If you know Sonny like I know him, bro, bro, stubborn. Man, I love him, bro. <laughs> like chop his head off, <laughs> bro. But you know. I mean, excuse me. It's all, Are you good? It's all good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but like I said, none of my hits never came from Sony. So, do, so do you do like like as as far as just like ha having the success you have? Do you ever get frustrated sometimes? Like you know what I'm saying? Just just frustration period in the game because I know a lot of people like get stressed out with doing this music and dealing with the labels and and it it becomes where it's a job and it's not fun no more. Right. They kind of take the fun out because they make it so much business. Do you ever get frustrated to be like, well, why y'all didn't push it to the next level? Why y'all didn't? Spend that much of that bag on me like y'all spent on them. Like, do you ever question that? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I do get fr uh, frustrated, never discouraged, but frustrated. And I, ain't gonna, I'm not with a label. Right. So I independent was, now. Yeah, I've been out my deal. I ain't gonna lie. I was fortunate enough to get out. Cause I signed a three album deal with Atlantic. Okay. And I just called one of the head guys. I was like, man, this ain't working out. You know what I'm saying? The shoe don't fit. Can you let me out? And he, like, but I rock with you. I really believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't never like can you ain't come to me. In a hostile way, you know what I'm saying? So he made it happen. It didn't happen overnight. It took a few months, but he made it happen. You know what I'm right. saying? So, so are you are you looking to get back with a label, or is that something that you're not interested in right now? Nah, yeah, I definitely I'm interested in, in anything that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And anything that makes sense that's gonna help me progress and go where I'm trying to go. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's independent or label. You know what I'm saying? In that situation, it was just see that situation. Matter of fact, as soon as I got that, that that's when Atlantic was in the process of. Like, they fired everybody. Right. As soon as I got there, everybody got fired. You know, so they were trying to align a whole new team and staff and everything. So I just got caught 
in, like the, a, in the cross. Yeah, I got caught crossfire. So, so was OG, OG Bobby Johnson was released from Atlanta though? No, I released that. Mm. I put that forty thousand of my the, own money. That came that. from the success of OG Bobby Johnson. The Atlanta. Exactly, because right. they, to be honest with you, and this, this, this anybody that was around, they came down here and heard the song and seen the videos. Like, ah, it's not really a radio song. We don't know the video. It's not really that. Boom! I put it out. It started going crazy, and then they came back and like, yeah, man, you, Kevin. You, Kevin, double the top, price. Y'all are like <laughs> top priority in Atlanta right now. The whole time listen, like y'all some sick shit. Right. <laughs> it's all good though, cause you know. As long as they kids they get kicked that bag yeah, down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm like, it's all good though. I ain't tripping. When, so, when, I, no, keep going, keep going. I put my own money. I think I had like 50 in my account at the time too. I put 40 behind it too. Hmm. I was calling to him, like, bro, when we gonna do some shows, bro? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, be patient, bro. I'm like, bro, I got 10 left, bro. We gonna do? Right. <laughs> Trying to make it back. And he came back, though. All yeah, right. Yeah. But when you when you do a song like Sugar Daddy with uh with uh Rich Homie Quan, mm. does does the does the does the the blend go as as well as it was before when you were, you know, doing the the uh Bobby Johnsons and uh too much? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never like really stuck to one sound, one I wouldn't categorize myself and say trap or whatever, however you would categorize it. I don't know, but I've always dipped and dabbled in every, you know what I'm saying? Any little thing, you know what I'm saying? I got EDM songs that's hmm. been on Baller, C S I, Hit the Flow, M T V, you know what I'm saying? That's some sync checks, you know what I'm saying? Right. I got EDM song, A track, you know what I'm saying? A lot of folks, you know what I'm saying? So this is all people stuff that people don't know though because they be sleep. You know what I'm saying? What's the feeling I almost, like? I feel like I'm um, before I, I'm sorry. No, 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 I literally feel like my footsteps are like the exact same as Sonny. Like literally, I don't know why it's like that. I witnessed everything he went through, just sitting back watching from him dropping, being slept on, him feeling the way he felt, and then blown up. Just yeah. And as I go through my journey and see, I'm like, damn, bro, this is literally like a mirror of. I don't know why it's like right. that, bro. I think Literally. it's like that for a lot of artists, though. A lot, a lot of times they might come out, be slept on, then they people marinate on it yeah. and go back and listen to something, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is hard, you Bro. know, and they look for the new stuff. 